Here's a question for you. How is your communication in your marriage today? Is it good? Is it bad? Or is it ugly? The process is simple. I say some words. Nancy listens. When I finish talking, it's her turn. She can respond to what I said, and then she can say what she thinks. And then we repeat. Unfortunately, it's often these simple things that we struggle with the most. We don't listen well, and then our spouse, Nancy, thinks that I, we did not hear what they said. And often, they're right, because we didn't. We get angry or frustrated, and that tanks our communication. We drag unhealthy communication baggage from previous relationships right in the middle of our current relationship. Probably 95% of the couples that I see for counseling struggle with communication. Honestly, I believe the other five do too. They just don't know it yet. But this is interesting. Almost without exception, every couple says that when they were dating, they communicated pretty well. So what happened? Well, there's a survey that says couples spend an average of three hours a day communicating when they're dating. That's 21 hours a week. The same survey says that those same couples will spend an average of five minutes a day communicating as they get into marriage. That's 35 minutes a week. That is a 19 hour and 25 minute difference from three hours a day to five minutes a day. In marriage, that will never work. If communication doesn't maintain a high priority, we get distant from each other. We begin making assumptions about each other. And the connection that was once so close fades away. Why? Well, probably for a number of reasons. For males, the pursuit's over. We've won our spouse's heart. And now we on to go on to conquer something new. Not realizing that we need to keep doing the things, the good things that got us to the altar in the first place. Second, we get busy, and time for communication gets squeezed out. We quit making it a priority. But there are other reasons, but that, that gives you an idea of what I mean. If I ask you to define the word communication, what would you say? Is it simply an exchange of words, or a way to understand each other better? Do most couples find it easy to communicate, or is it difficult? What about listening? How important is listening to this whole communication process? How do you react when you feel understood? What about when you don't? Can a couple really learn to communicate better? Is it worth the effort? Well, I believe it is. And one reason is that a survey says that 95, 97% of couples that said their communication was good, they also said their marriage was good. And that in itself is a good motivator. Learn to communicate well and have a good marriage. Well, maybe it's not quite that simple, that's a good place to start. Step one is you listening to the other person while they're talking. Step two is you talking while the other person listens to you. Step three is making sure you really heard what the other person was saying. And then repeat for the rest of your marriage.